Welcome back, babes. I know exactly why y'all are here. You're ready to see how I constructed and customized this wig from beginning to end. So if you want to see exactly how I styled, laid, and slayed this wig, you just keep on watching. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So the hair I will be using in this video is from Eunice, 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 however you want to pronounce it. I love how their packaging had their social media contacts on it. And when you open it, they give you this little sticky note with all the information about your bundles. So I personally got a 14 inch frontal, a 16 inch bundle, and two 18 inch bundles. Um, all of this hair is from the I Send You, I Send You series, not sure how you pronounce that either, but they all come separately packaged with the bundles on them, the bundle inches on them, so I thought that was real cute, you know, and they give you some lashes, so, you know, it's lit. So y'all know the first step when you're customizing your wig is to bleach your knots. So I'll be using the BW2 bleaching powder with the 30 developer from Clairol. And I'm going to wash away all of that brassness with the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. Every single time I do my knots, I always put it on top of some aluminum foil. So I'm using the Reynolds Wrap so I don't mess up my lower table. And yeah, let's just get started. So y'all, fun fact about me, I hate using the actual tools that you're supposed to use when bleaching your knots. For some reason, it's 10 times easier for me to use a plastic butter knife instead of this little plastic brush. So that's exactly what I'll be using. Also, I left most of my hair stuff at home in DC, so I had to use a plastic cup. Don't judge me, God is watching you. And yeah, I'm just gonna speed through this process. Y'all probably have seen this a thousand times. And then I'm gonna make sure that I let my knots sit for at least 15 minutes. As for my beginners, when you're bleaching your knots, you want to make sure that you are lightly pressing onto the lace so the bleach doesn't seep through. Because if that happens, girl, you're going to have some blonde hairs all through your lace and that's not cute. Like, we don't want that. Also, you want to make sure that the consistency of your bleach is super duper thick. <laughs> like me, ow. It's like, no, let me stop. But make sure it's thick, not too runny. And yeah, you should be straight. So one thing I've noticed when bleaching your knots is that you should always bleach your lace to match your skin complexion. So if you're a darker skin tone, you don't have to wait as long if you were lighter. Also, you want to make sure that you use the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo to wash away all of the brassiness because this is going to strip away that orange film that you guys see and it's going to make your lace literally blend right into your skin.
Now here's the key. I'm giving y'all all the tips, you know, so you might as well just go ahead and like the video because I'm really putting y'all on right now. Okay, so boom, when you're bleaching your knots and you wash away all of that bleach with a purple shampoo, you have to let the shampoo sit on your lace for about five to 10 minutes. And if you don't, it's really not gonna make a difference. Also, I'm about to wash and condition all the bundles, including the front two with the coconut milk and argan oil of morocco shampoo and conditioner from organics yes i'm mixing and matching okay so white so white And guys, y'all need to comment down below if this video has been helpful or not. I really need some feedback on my tutorials. Also, I want to switch it up, okay? I need y'all to let me know what hairstyle I should try next. I've also been thinking about dyeing my hair, but I'm not sure which color. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. Okay, so boom, Jutera has a confession to make. I completely, pff, I'm really laughing at myself thinking about this all over again, but I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I completely sewed on my front two to the cap completely wrong, okay? You see all this floom floom at the bottom? That is not supposed to be right there. I should have pulled the front two back a little bit and then sewed it, but my dumb self didn't realize until after the entire wig was done so the next day i reconstructed it did it from beginning to end and yeah i'm sorry y'all i did not record that part but there's a ton of videos on youtube that shows you guys how to sew in your bundle so i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but i wasn't about to lie to y'all okay All right, so right here is where we about to get sexy on y'all, okay? So I'm about to use the Argan Oil of Morocco to moisturize the hair. I'ma flare iron it and curl it with my Hot Tools Flare Iron. And uh, yeah, this is real self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna let y'all watch me work. So far, this hair from Eunice is so freaking good. It's so soft, it didn't shed, and I cut my wefts when I sewed in my bundles and they still didn't give me no shedding, no tangling, nada. I 10 out of 10 recommend this hair, especially from the I Send You series, okay? Right here, I'm showing y'all what flat iron, this is not a flat iron, why don't you get it together? I'm showing y'all what hot comb I'm gonna use to flatten the top of the wig. I got mine from Amazon, it was like $14, it's super duper good, and it gets super duper hot, okay? Like literally, I already burnt myself three times. And yeah, I'm just about to use this to flatten the hair so it looks a little bit more natural. Okay. 
so I already secured my wig by using the boho glue if you want a separate video on that make sure you like this video and comment down below but right here I'm just about to put some random mousse on the top of my head I'm sorry I didn't show the exact brand but this is just gonna help me mold down the hair as I um, style it I also decided to cut some layers in the front of the hair. I wanted the hair to frame my face a little bit better. I also cut a few edges, you know. You always gotta have your edges laid. And in order to lay my edges, I use the Got To Be Ultra Glue Styling Gel with a little edge brush. Um, and once I did that, I got my blow dryer that I also got from Amazon.com to blow dry my hair instead of putting on a um, scarf because it usually gives me the lines in my forehead and I hate that. But yeah, that's a that's really the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy make sure you comment down below what tutorials you want to see me do next make sure you like share and subscribe and yeah i'll see y'all the next video bye